What? Hello? I just got my ass beat. Henry, are you there? No. Yes. What happened? Um, it's eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm here to make this intro. Oh my God, I look so tired. Anyway, I'm editing this video and I realized I need an intro because it just starts in the middle of nowhere. So here's the intro. You're welcome. So, like two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Mm. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ooh. Uh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. Uh, he was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. That's <sighs> then, your tower um, over there. Javier's brother got killed oh. working in Gillette, and <sighs> for some reason... <sighs> I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. Aww. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over 10 years. And uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. <sighs> I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Hmm. I think there's something comforting about being able to tell strangers stuff. Oh my god, I can't believe Delilah's tower's right there. I don't think we would be able to reach it. It's not on the map. Oh. Could I make it to her tower? That might be like a stretch because we're probably not supposed to meet face to face. That would be creepy, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, don't think, don't think we'll be making it. Uh. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Man. I don't know. Maybe it's almost better that they didn't meet. I wonder if they'll ever meet face to face, but probably not. They'll probably end up leaving a changed man like they usually do in these. Like, I don't know. This seems like the kind of story that's more open-ended. There's no solid ending. It doesn't seem like it's going to be extremely happy, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be depressing either to me. Um, so they probably won't ever meet, but they'll still hold each other um, dearly in their hearts. Why do I keep going the wrong direction? We can do this way. Wait. Okay, Moss Peak. Two forks. Ooh. Yeah, no. I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's see. Alright. 
I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Oh, day 64. Oh, hello. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? All right. About the big fire. Maybe the flapjack fire. What about Delilah? So, no ideas, huh? Hmm. Come on, there's got to be something creative in that brain of yours. We'll do flapjack uh, fire. Maybe we call it the flapjack fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair <laughs> enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. So there's this creek down the hill. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. Hmm. I'm not gonna flirt with her. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. God dang it. I wanted to go exploring. I really, I really have my eyes set on that cash. <laughs> okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah, it is really pretty. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but... It's been really nice. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios. We could, um... You know... I won't say anything. I'm still married, and as much as I love their relationship, uh, I don't want to, like, you know what I mean. I don't want to mess anything up while I'm well, here on this job. We could just watch this fire. It's gonna burn for a long time. You're going fishing <laughs> without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like, how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? <laughs> oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can I pull out a... Okay, let me put this away, because now I need to figure out how to get to the lake. Where am I at? Hello? Oh, yeah, I'm going the wrong way. I honestly thought we were going to be more involved with the teens. Like, the story, I thought that was going to be, like, a bigger component, or there was going to be some overarching mystery. 
Um, but I really like how it's kind of like an event that happens and then it passes. Kind of like real life. I do wonder what they did about it. Um, bear tracks? I need to find the bear tracks first. Where are they? Have I like completely... Search the lakeside for bear tracks. So where are we at? Lakeside? Where am I going, dude? Am I getting closer or am I getting further away? I don't know. A butterfly! How pretty. Oh, here are the fireworks. Gotta do my job. I can't believe my mic is covering. I could just never put my mic in the right my mic in the right place. And we're always heading down to this this place. Uh, a clipboard. Okay. What is this? What the uh D, I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on, something's out here. find and eat any mushrooms did you i mean they can be fun but also you know devastating regardless Hello. just let me know okay buckaroo oh god i don't know why i just called you that uh, it's cute buckaroo works i'm scared ah so we'll be this way thunder canyon was this way Woo! I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shithouse. We'll get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. Will do. got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Uh Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So What's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. Uh. I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. Just keep 
keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. Like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You got it, boss. Don't worry about me. <laughs> my god, my question is, like, first of all, who writes it on a clipboard? The notebook, maybe, but a clipboard, I don't know, I don't know, you know, I don't know what kind of stuff they have out here, what kind of materials. But then also, why would you just leave it there unless they were expecting us to go there? They've been following our every move. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Oh. Uh. Well, are, are the other lookouts telling the truth? Of course, why wouldn't they be? I don't know, maybe someone told them not to. You're suggesting that you and I are actually being watched by whom, exactly? I don't know. Am I going the right way? Uh. <laughs> you know, people. You know, people. As opposed to, what, aliens? Mad scientists, the CIA, wild separatists, the, the fucking Illuminati? Come on! Look, you should have seen this clipboard, Delilah. Yeah, I guess I should have. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Intercepting our frequency? Hailing me, following me around, like working with other people. Henry, you are way too much of a dope to be in the mob. Someone is clearly able to hear us sometimes and was hiding near the lake. Come on. I... I, I just... Just admit it. You're a little worried. Of course I'm worried, but let's just try to keep things calm, okay? Keep things on an even keel. Okay, I'm trying to remain calm. We're being stalked. I still don't know how to freaking get through this game. Geographically. What is that? Oh, I haven't been this way yet. Get this cash. One, two, three, four. Let's see what's in here. No fireworks. Okay, let's copy the information. Oh, I could have been asking her about these notes between Ron and Dave this whole time. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance that they had anything to do with those girls disappearing? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Hmm. Ron, got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though? Budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. Dave. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and Profesionales is Italian. <laughs> Good to know. Okay. So... Okay. I keep going this way. There's a path I'm supposed to take. Hold on. See, because now I'm heading out towards the water, which is not what I want to do. It's all very beautiful over here, though. It's probably gotten a lot of strength out here, doing all this climbing work. 
You know, it was really nice oh. for the person who bashed his head in to leave him alive. Very, <laughs> very kind. Oop. Okay. Just gotta keep following this path. Ah. All right, I'm here. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Okay. I feel like this is definitely illegal. Um, but it's getting exciting, because I was hoping we would be able to get past the fence area anyway. And the gate is locked up, obviously. Obviously. I'll see if I can break in somehow. Alright. Be careful. Break in. Girl, girl! <sighs> Doesn't work. Can I, ooh, can I bash this? Ah! Look, I'm not gonna be able to get into this place. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Okay, where are we? There. You want me? You want me? To go from here? All the way? Okay. Um. Guess I'll just head back towards the lookout. What else do I do? That's a really long way to run. Maybe there's some dialogue that has to happen. Or at least what? They just want us to get some exercise. Oh my god, it's late. I was supposed to have dinner. It's so, it's so bad. I usually, I have trouble, like, recognizing how much time passes. I start, I don't remember even, I don't even remember when I started this. But now it's 8.41 and I was supposed to have dinner, like, <laughs> two hours ago. That's okay. I'm having fun. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. Me neither, girl. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're, you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I hope so. Hope he's living his best life this summer. Forget what year it is. Is it 1989? <laughs> <sighs> This is so dangerous. My, oh my god, my twig arms would snap. Oh, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. 
Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Who? Oh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. That means I go this way, right? There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um... Well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den. Or, you know, anywhere. Okay. Am I headed the right way? What's this? Camp? Uh, camp? Ar Aropow? Hold on. Camp Arapaho. Camp Arapaho. Oh. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. I guess I do do a long drop down, right? Oh, I've had my flashlight on this whole time. Not that it was doing much anyway. Okay. This kind of sounds like music you would hear in Twilight. A little bit. Like forks. Forks music. If anyone knows what I'm talking about. Obviously everyone knows Twilight, but not everyone has seen Twilight, right? I've seen Twilight. Just telling me it's time to stand. It's like, girl, you've been sitting. I feel the blood rushing to my feet. Uh. Oh. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Hmm. Oh, I like just got her joke. I'm so focused on finding everything. Oh, let's see. I want to take this. Well, first I want to read it. Like, hey, D, they left something behind. Oh, it's, uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh. Next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that... That, that we don't know about? What are they researching? 
Uh. <laughs> us. They're researching us. You, you think they're studying you and me? One hundred percent. I do. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do? Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Oh, God. I mean, that would be, like, a more... I mean, it's still creepy because it's without consent, so not a big fan. But it's a lot better than, I don't know... I don't know, in my head, I was just making it, like, a big dramatic thing. Like, Delilah... Not Delilah. Hold on. What's her name? Um, Julia just happened to be keeping an eye on us. She escaped from Australia and came to wherever we are uh, to, uh, to stalk us. Make sure we're not falling... In love. Uh, okay, let's go chop. Hello, let's go chop down that tree. Ooh, Minecraft, but fancy. Okay. Oh wow! Look at that. Uh. What are we doing? Now I have to return to Wapiti Meadow. Oh, you guys literally are the worst. Are you there? I, I had a thought. Sure. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. God, I'm scared. Okay. What are we? Fair tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, oh. went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Where's that one? Um. You can do for me a trip out of uh, here. You can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. Henry. We have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you and you'll feel better. Are you serious? Let's talk. Okay? Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. You know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. What is it? I'm examining it. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh. 
Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, maybe I should go for a hike. Okay, we're Nothing hiking. Like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Okay. Uh, guess we're... See, I want to see these. Okay. July 16th, 1989. What the fuck difference a day makes, holy hell. I don't even know where to begin. It's late, past midnight, so I'm going to write down everything that happened today as fast as I can. I went down to the lake and found the clipboard and walkie-talkie in. I don't know how to describe this. I don't know what to say other than someone is listening to Delilah and I. I know that sounds crazy, but someone is out here listening to us and attacked me. They're taking notes about our conversations. We think there might, there, there might some sort of study going on. Like, maybe we were given these jobs not just to look for fires, but to be part of a behavioral study or something? Fuck, I know this all sounds insane. It is insane. I don't know how to explain any of it. Delilah definitely heard someone on our walkie-talkies, too. It wasn't just me. I'm rambling here. She heard someone, too. I tried calling her a couple times tonight, but we don't want to talk on these anymore. I don't know where we're going to do. Oh, what we're going to do. Oh, man. Maybe I should have been... Maybe I should have been reading the notes this whole time. I didn't really get a chance to read the notes um, the night we had that dream and we spoke to Julia, Julia on the walkie-talkie. Um, oh, anyway. So we're going to Cottonwood Creek, which is back all the way down the that thing. Alright. Man, I hate this, <laughs> this jump system. Ooh. Jumping on rocks in Tales of Berseria is, like, probably one of the most satisfying things that I've ever done. I don't know what it is, but I just love it so much. The sound it makes, the little hop that Velvet does. Let's see. So we're heading to... We're actually heading to... Cottonwood Creek. I wish they had the map on, like, the top right or something. Because I... I just have really bad... Okay, so that would be going left. So we're supposed to be going right this way. I, like, can't remember. Okay. Okay. Is that it? That looks kind of majestic. This has to be the tree. So it's not this, actually. Is it this tree? Hello? I hear someone. Or something. You know, so many animals out here. Ah, oh, here. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Okay. So this, <laughs> that's so funny. Five, six, seven. Let's do it this way. Eight. Got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Tell me everything right now. All of it. You know what's going on, and you're gonna tell me right this minute. Oh! Why would you think I know what the hell is going on? I, I, I snuck out in the middle of the night and figured out how to get you a new untapped radio because, because what, I'm fucking with you? That's not what I meant to say. The most important thing, Henry, is that we don't turn on each other. Maybe it's a hidden <sighs> camera show. Maybe, maybe you're not real. Maybe I'm losing my mind. What? Julia, 
Maybe it's happening to me, and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. This is not the way I wanted Henry. it to go. Maybe there was something in the water, or our condo was underneath some power lines, and, and you, Delilah, you're not real. Henry... Henry, think about her. If what happened to her were happening to you, you wouldn't even be able to realize it. Okay. Henry, sweetie, I am real and this is happening. I'm as real as the sky is blue. Take a second and then call me back. I'm on I your mean... side. I did not mean to... I did not mean to say that. Okay. How do I get back? I guess I'll just keep going this way. When I chose the selection, you're in on it. I thought it was like, oh my god, Talia, this is so stupid. I thought it was like a, like a, oh, like, yes, we're in this together. Because it didn't seem like she was really, like, too much on my side and thought I was, like, low-key going crazy and stuff like that. So I thought it was like, you know, being like, yeah, you're in on it. Why would anyone say that in that tone, though? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Shit, this is crazy. I did not mean to accuse you. I did not mean to accuse you. I guess that's what the, the restart day button is for, because I don't want this, because I, I think there are multiple endings, and I don't want it to end with me and Delilah being enemies, because that was an accident. Um, but you know, you know how it is, mistakes were made, <laughs> tones were misunderstood. Oh my god, it's literally 9pm. I freaking need dinner, is what I need. <laughs> maybe that's, maybe that's why I'm like, I need food. Hey, uh... I just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Oh, shit. My thoughts exactly. Why would you do Our that? Our radios were tapped, and now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Oh my god. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Okay. I'm trying. That would have been very helpful information. I told you not to say anything! Why would you do this to me? Can I just climb down? There we go. Nope. Oh, God. I should have, you know what? I should have said that she should have mentioned it, but I have a feeling for some reason maybe this isn't like telltale but i have a feeling for some reason that even if i told her that she should mention it that she probably wouldn't have okay we're back to wapiti meadow it took me a sec but i did it okay this is heading the right way oh god so now i'm gonna try to break in are we sure that they have to know right am i about to be incarcerated I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay, then. Investigate. Ah! Oh, what is that? Got stung by a bee. It happens. Okay. Sure. Report bee sting? I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is, is that it? Yeah. Did it, did it hurt? Yes, yeah. kind of. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. If you are trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University-owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government-owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Do you think Delilah is Cat Ferdinand? Can I keep it? I'll be able to look at it, right? A letter to the firefighters. If we wanted to look at that. Okay. 
Interesting. Is there anything I'm missing? Ooh. 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 Guys, I'm freaking scared. Oh my god, it's dark. Mm, they did this on purpose. You guys are meanies. See anybody around? Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20 foot tall transmission tower. I mean, they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Okay. You sure this isn't gonna get me murdered? I want to see my wife. I wanna get back to my wife and see how she's doing. Ooh, oh my god, the floor is so shiny. I wasn't expecting this to take such a twist. I wonder if they wanted us to find this. I mean, there is all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. Mm. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. Okay. I just wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. The desk in here is a mess. I mean, it's, it's like someone was in a rush or knocked a bunch of stuff over on accident. We're here. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my, our, people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. Okay. Wait. Let's do this. Uh, frequent departure from Two Forks area. Friday, avoidance behaviors. Consult previous data. Unreciprocated desire for copulation. Conflict with other males. Disproportionate food intake. Are they talking about D? What are they talking about? Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me, and I suppose you too. What about the other two? Hmm, maybe the missing teens? Maybe the missing girls? Like, they're still out here and these people are following them? Maybe, mm -hmm. it's possible, right? Maybe but then why haven't not. you seen right. them? I, I don't know. That's true. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah, it's all one operation. Huh, like us. Yeah, like us. Hey, this desk seems to be where all the monitoring is recorded. Just dials and computers and sorts of doodads. Holy shit, you don't think they're able to record our heart rate and stuff, do you? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. What is it? What is it? Okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Here?
why just now? Hasn't Delilah been working there for a decade? Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... Susceptibility to I'm manipulation. I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. Fine. We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? M maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. I mean, the grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up! It's all right. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Head back to Two Forks Lookout? Oh, yeah. As if we're not gonna get literally murdered right now. Give me this. Give me this. That's mine. See, but why don't they let us... I'm sorry, I'm like out of frame. Ah, here. They're doing something with the soil out here, too. It's all gridded off. Hey, maybe you were right about the lichens. God, I'm on the run now. Duh. I don't know what to do if you figure out this information. I, I probably would just freeze in place. I wouldn't even know where to go because it's like, how do you know if they're watching you or not? Oh. Oh, guess I know my way around. Whoa! 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 Is right, man. That was. Uh. uh Henry. Yeah. I think there is smoke coming from north of Jonesy Lake. That is suspiciously close to where you just were. Do you see it? Jesus, okay, yeah, I see it. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. How are you? Oh, day 77? It's the same day, isn't it? Who is listening to us? Damn, seems like we're losing it a little. This receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Alcohol? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! <laughs> Hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Southwest. Oh, I like it when you think. 
Ay, ay, ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Okay, we're Last closer. thing I need is another big crossword breakthrough. Oh, well, my radio's off. Yeah, I know, I know. Should be heading back around this way. It's that way. Follow the wave receiver. Bag? Where is it? Oh, oh. Huh. Sorry, I've been like speechless. <laughs> it's so intense. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has not spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you. What? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Whoa there, I left you on a cliffhanger there, didn't I? <laughs> anyway. Thank you so much for watching this is part of the video and I will see you guys in the last part of Firewatch or the next thing that goes up. Anyway, okay, bye-bye. <laughs>